Hi, Childbirth Educator friends. This is Bonda Gates. Come along with me as I get ready for the last class in my childbirth series here in my classroom. And I pulled out an activity that I thought would be uh, super to show you in an ICEA Members Minute. It's called the Labor Tool Belt. This is an activity that I use on the last night of class, even in the last half hour of the class, as a review of positive labor support techniques that we've talked about in class. It's a nice positive way to end the class on that last evening. Here it is sitting, I pulled it out of the bag, I usually put it in, and it is just a tool belt that I got for $19 from a hardware store. It clips in the back, and I'm going to ask a partner volunteer tonight to put this on, and then as they pull things out of the pockets, we're gonna talk about what that might re represent as positive labor support for their mom when they are in labor. Now, a couple of things to remember about adult learners. They like, when they volunteer to do an activity for you, they really like to be sure that it's something that they can do, that they know about, and something that they're going to be giving the right answers for. So it's really important to support our adult learners in our class. When we ask them to do something, we should make sure that we have given them the information or that it's right in front of them in some way. Or in this case, for this activity, I have uh, little hints, a little cheat sheet on actually on each item in the tool belt so that they can feel really confident that they're going to know the right answer and why I put each item into the tool belt. When we support our adult learners like that, you will find that they are more likely to volunteer in your class. So as I'm putting this tool belt on tool belt on to a partner tonight, I will let them know that there's little notes in there should they need some help with why that item is in the tool belt. So do you want to see what I have in the tool belt? Well, let's take a look. One of the first things that uh, usually a partner goes for when we do this activity is this big set of glasses. And again, here's the little note that's on there to say what it's about. And so this says, be with her and watch for signs of positive and negative stress. So that's just a big pair of glasses to remind them that they're going to watch their mom. And that's how a good support team does. Here's the um, uh, thinking cap that I put into the, to the bag. This is a, uh, a positive thinking cap. And on the back, the note says, there's my little cheat sheet on the back. It says, the successful brain in birth moves toward the deep primal areas as things progress. And so mom leaves the logical thinking at the front of her brain. And so it's helpful to have somebody with a thinking cap who's going to help her with uh, the food and water and some of her other needs of just moving around. So a thinking cap is a good thing to be able to put on if you are a labor support person to help the mom to think positively. Um, here's um, some popcorn that's in the bag. Obviously written on the back here, it says that mom should eat when she's hungry. There's also a water bottle that's empty in there that she should also drink when she is thirsty. Here's a bag of peas. Can you guess what that's for? Well, if you didn't know, you could just look at the back because it says cold pack or hot pack. Uh, cover before putting on the skin. Don't use heat or cold if the skin is anesthetized as with an epidural. So using a hot pack or cold pack can be helpful. Some of the other things, obviously here's a fan. So fanning mom in labor can be helpful. Um, I have a small container of Play-Doh and on the top I have written patience. And it says her body is made to mold to her baby's shape and her baby will do the same, but it takes patience. All right, what else is here? Here's a pair of uh, socks for her feet that have grippies on the bottom. They are in a color she likes. They have the word love on them, reminding our partners that we give her loving support and that we're making sure she's not slipping in any way when we're doing any positions or if she's getting into and out of the shower. So we take a look that she's doing it safely. Uh, here's a pack of playing cards 
reminding them that distraction and early labor is helpful. The notes on the back again. Here's a scented uh, shower uh, wash that she might like and a scent that she likes and reminding that the shower is helpful, water is helpful. We can also add that the tub can be helpful. Here's a package of idea cards. This particular one is put out by a friend that I know with her company and it has different ideas for positions. And so a support team might offer lots of different positions that we're thinking ahead of for our laboring mom. A cell phone, because these days it seems like moms are texting and uh, in labor. Here's a package of breath mills breath mints says watch your breath especially if uh, the labor team or labor partners are drinking coffee sometimes their breath gets kind of bad breath melts here's a pair of work gloves just like you might see in a tool belt and the note inside again a little cheat sheet for them says touch her often if helpful with massage distraction rhythmic patterns or loving gentle contact to remind her she's not alone. Uh, I also have a toilet paper roll. Can you guess what that's for? Yep, get to the bathroom often every hour. And we kind of think about that for her. Here is a Chinese finger puzzle and a note in it that says, watch for and commend her relaxation skills for letting go. And then I think the last thing I'm going to pull out is a new tube of chapstick because sometimes when she is doing breathing patterns, chapstick helps with the dry lips. And now I think our tool belt is empty. And so that's it. The Labor Partners Tool Belt. Those are just some of the ideas that I put into my tool belt. You could probably think of some even more creative ideas to go into your tool belt. So good luck with it.